that is right mobile gamers there's some pretty talented people in this community that have been working on things like this behind the scenes and i think it's really awesome to see that people are working on melon ds behind the scenes azahar behind the scenes and so much more to do with dual screen emulation in 2025 because last year when i presented my idea about the dna duo in 2024 it was because of drastic drastic was using a media projection library inside of the application so that it would allow us to play with two different screens whether it's a screen attached to a usb c cable or a screen attached to screencasting for example so you can screencast it now screencasting is very laggy in some cases i tried it with a roku stick once very very laggy on there my wi-fi 6 router to my tv that is wired to my actual router it worked okay but it still was laggy it, it didn't really you know justify the hard wire connection like the usb-c cable like the custom usb-c cable you see here this is a custom dna duo custom usb-c cable that i had made and i designed this design months ago another company ripped me off took the entire design called me unhinged by the way yeah i'm never gonna let that down thanks to game tech talk for letting me know that the retroid called me unhinged at ces or whatever yeah get a grip there retroid you call me unhinged i'm just giving you my personal opinions about your devices even though i used to like your devices anyways that all aside melon ds has a huge cool update here guys and it allows us to play on a second screen and why you'd want this well that's because ds has two screens and it makes a lot more sense and it has options to either use your second screen as a bottom screen or a top screen it's all up to you i like to play on the top screen because honestly when i'm sitting here like this and my hands are resting here like this i'm looking up here same with when i'm laying in bed if i'm looking up here i'm looking up there this is still a prototype design this is actually um plastic it's a different type of plastic. It looks better than the 3D printed plastic that it used to be, obviously. But yeah, this is still prototype design. And yeah, that's why you see like different colors on top here and anything like that. So don't ask me why it looks like that. It's just because it's still prototype and I'm waiting for the injection mold. So if you don't know what this is, this is the DNA Duo. It's a demagnetizable screen that attaches to adapters that are connected to your device via a magnetic hinge. And then it folds over top of the device of your choice, whatever device you have with that USB-C cable. It has USB-C charging pass-through, has a mini HDMI port for devices that don't allow for video over USB-C as well, and a long enough cable that enables you to actually fold the device over top of the device that you want to fold it over. It's not to replace your clamshell device. It's not to look like a full clamshell device. It's not to make it pocketable or anything like that it's to just basically allow you to play dual screen games i've thrown this into my backpack my or my laptop bag and traveled with it and it survived the way that i designed it was so that it would survive and that it would work and function the way it does not trying to review that i'm trying to let you guys know that yes melon ds has done it now we can have better upscaling drastic has stopped development and the games look so much more crisp because we can upscale the graphics higher up in different resolutions. You can go up to like eight times resolution with this one, which is freaking cool. I might say it's freaking cool, honestly. And yeah, I think it looks great, especially with an OLED panel on the top. If you have an old device or not an old device, but an old screen on a bottom screen, then you will. Yeah, sorry, the, the, the speakers are turned up all the way. You will enjoy just playing on the OLED screen. And yes, with the Odin 2, for example, you could just play on the top screen too as well if you wanted to. And you could charge it while you're playing it. Now, why didn't my buttons... My buttons didn't actually... Okay, well, it seems like there's already some issues with Melon DS. It was working for me earlier, I promise. I swear. All right, let's close the app. Let's go back into it. <laughs> it was working a few minutes ago, guys. So yeah, today, this is just an update from the, the developer. Um, I actually messaged them on Discord the other day. 
Not sure why that's doing that. I don't think it's anything to do with the screen. But I'm going to unplug it, plug it back in anyways, because I don't have a power button on the screen right now. This is actually a version that is an older version still. Okay, let's go back into the game. There we go. Now it's working. Fast forward button working. Yeah, there it goes. All right. Now it's working, guys. We're good to go. Yeah, there's always going to be bugs with things. And yeah, this is an older PCB board that's in here as well. The only updated PCB board is my black version of the DNA Duo that I've showcased with you guys before. And that's because the company has finally made it work with the Embernic RG557 for me, uh, the RG556, and a couple other devices. And I will be showcasing that when I get the prototype material in for the injection mold, because like that's still taking time. I don't know why that company is taking so much time to just do these injection molds. It's Chinese companies that I've been using. I've been using secure payment methods and stuff like that as well. So hopefully we get the injection molds very soon and we will have some more actual cool looking products to actually show because like even this material, which is uh, just basically a resin type type of material for the screens that is, is looking good it's just not the best to me i can see flaws with the actual screen itself because it is such a um you know thinner plastic and stuff like that i can see like the screen through the plastic on this one where actual plastic you won't be able to see the screen through it so yeah not trying to hype up the dna duo in this in any regard but i'm basically just sharing that we do have dual screen support now with melon ds and this means that we can do stuff like this. So awesome, I think. I think this is, you know, the way to go. Melon DS last year uh, for PC. I shared a video about PC and they added dual screen support for that as well. So a multi-window support. I did a video about that very vaguely with the Steam Deck and I thought that was freaking cool too. And that's because Melon DS was the only DS emulator on the PC at the time. So yeah. Very, very cool. We're getting there. We're getting there with dual screen emulation with most PC handhelds and Android handhelds nowadays. And we'll be there very, very soon. Now I think they just need to optimize things like whatever happened a few seconds ago with the random freezing. I don't know if that was just a bug or what that was, but maybe it was because I was messing around with settings or something. I have no idea. But what do you guys think about this? Dual screen emulation? Yeah, we have the 1x sugar coming. I know I said bad things about it. It wasn't because I am trying to defer people from buying it. It's just my opinions. Don't forget, this is my channel, my opinions. You can say whatever you want and I will say whatever I want back. I'm just a guy having a conversation with you on the internet. I'm not some shill content creator that's gonna hype everything up because I wanna get free products. I wanna give my honest feedback about everything. And I want to hear what you guys say about the DNA Duo when it releases. I don't care what content creators get it. I want those content creators to actually give me honest feedback, not just be like, oh, I love this thing. It's so awesome. It's such the perfect thing ever. I still don't even think it's perfect, but that's because I have a little bit of OCD problem. So yeah, have a nice day, guys. Melon DS has dual screen support now. And if you were watching the video, I also gave away a free minecraft account today bye bye <laughs>